I want to continue with what you said that you are producing soil, um, black soil, uh, the high quality, highest quality soil, maybe a yeah? good humus. Uh, could you maybe explain uh, um, maybe the difference between a, a loamy soil, a, a clay soil, a, a black soil, a humus soil for us as non-experts? Um, in your, you've you've done a, a great TED talk. Congratulations to that. Uh, and there you showed two pictures of, of two different types of soils. Could you a little bit explain the difference between all these types of soil, please? In soil sciences, we don't talk just soil. So we have soils, plural, because all the soils are different and different by what kind of mineral or, or stone they are just built from and all the time and what factors like human um human activity has created those soils. And basically we need to look at the mineral part first and we usually have sand, silt and clay. So sand is very coarse, you know it from the beach and from deserts, two millimeter and smaller. And um, middle part is silt, uh, often it's kind of flowery, feels like flour, so less silt soils in, the, in Central Europe and a lot of these soils in, in in the US and especially China. And then we have the clays, clay particles, which are two micron. And they are so small, they fit into your, your finger in the rills in here, the finger, fingerprint. And this is what we call the texture. So you have a, 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 a clay soil, which is predominantly clay minerals. You have a sandy soil, just sand. And then you have a loamy soil, which ideally have a third of sand, a third of silt, and a third of clay which are the most fertile soils. Important for the soil is how much water they can hold, or we call it soil functions. So the soil has different functions, growing food, um, having an environment for animals to live in and above, um, filtering our water, holding water, uh, and many, many more. And this is done through the mineral parts. Some of them, clay can hold a lot of water, but the plants can access it. Sand can't hold a lot of water, but most of the water the plants can access. And loam is in the middle, can hold a lot of water and a lot of water is plant available. The second part in, in, in the soil is the, are the organism, the organic matter. You don't have a soil without the biosphere. So we have the lithosphere, it's the middle part. We have the biosphere. We need to have an atmosphere, so we need to have air and carbon dioxide and, and uh, oxygen. And we have to hydrosphere, water in the soil. If any of those is missing, we are not talking about the soil here. So we need organic matter. Without organic matter, there is no soil. And the organic matter is, of course, living animals and plants and microorganisms. But it's also dead plants, dead animals, dead micro microorganisms, which are decomposing. And there's the word composting, composing, or decaying in the soil. And they turn slowly, we call this organic matter at some stage. So a fallen tree is already organic matter above the soil. Dead roots in the soil is organic matter, but their function is limited. As well, as soon as microorganisms, fungi, bacteria, and earthworms and others are decomposing this organic matter and mixing it into the soil with the mineral parts, we develop a humus. Humus is, as my Soil professor, Mr. Ma, professor Meyer said, it's, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at the black part in the soil, the black box. And in those days, there was not much known about organic matter in the soil, humus. We all know it's important, but it was, it's still very difficult to do tests and analysis and compare this organic matter. And this is the black stuff in the soil, actually. It's holding the, the moisture. It's feeding organism. It's the habitat for the soil organism. It's feeding the plants and much, much more. So to improve soil fertility and soil functions, I'm focusing on getting organic matter up. If the organic matter is higher and we have a healthy soil life, we have fertile soils. And these soils can take care of themselves a lot. They don't need a lot of support in regards to pest control or, or the others. Thank you.